What's the story about uh, the Marine incident with, with Tully where you, I guess, beat up some Marines? It wasn't a Marine. It was a, a, a sailor. It was uh, some guy that was in the Navy. We had, oh my gosh, this was in Hampton, Virginia. We had done a tag team with Abdullah against um, Magnum and Dusty. And you could tell at the scope that, no, that was Norfolk scope. Hampton was a, was a circle building. Anyway, so when we went to the ring, you could just tell that the people were just, they wanted blood, they wanted guts, they wanted to kill us. It was, there was a lot of heat. I was like standing at the in, end of the apron and I saw something come out like from the very top of the building. You know how you can have the very hard, like the nosebleed seats, like something came sailing and I'm like watching it. A Jack Daniels bottle hit the ring post right next to me and just shattered. Now I'm like, holy fuck, this is going to be good. So they had their match. Um, the match was over with. I can't remember who went over, but there was a lot of heat. Abdullah was bleeding. Abdullah left us. And so he was already back to the dressing room by the time we had just cleared the first row ringside. So we're headed back and I'm in front of Tully and I just gotten past ringside when someone hit me on my chest. And I mean, they hit me like hard. And I looked down and it had actually popped the skin open on my chest. And I looked down and I was like, I'm bleeding. I'm really bleeding. And I look back and Tolly's just wailing on this guy like, don't you ever hit her? Don't you ever hit her? She's my 10. She's mine. Don't you ever? Well, then I got pissed and I just, I knocked the dog crap out of that. Uh, they had to actually pull me off from the guy. And from the, from what I know, and like the MPs came down and got him. And I'm not sure if, if he got kicked out of the service, but I had heard that they actually discharged him for hitting a woman in public, like what he did. Wow. What was it well, like? I, I beat the crap out of him. I've never beaten somebody so hard in all my life. <laughs> what was it like being a heel in those days when a lot of people believed? Loved it. I, I, I like being a heel better than I like being a baby face because a baby face you always had to wear makeup. You always had to be pretty. You always, you know, like you couldn't just throw on glasses and go to the store because then it seemed like they were disappointed that you weren't what you were on TV. But with a heel, you could actually like put on sunglasses and mm -hmm. shop at two o'clock in the morning at Harris Teeter or wherever and get away with it. Well, and then you didn't have to be like fake and nice all the time and you could just be whoever you were. And then for me, I'm... I'm so not baby doll. <laughs> That's what's so funny is um, I'm just because it, it, it really is a character. And for me to be a heel, I couldn't believe that thousands of people actually hated me without knowing who I was. They just went by what they saw on TV. And that was so intriguing to me that just doing little, little tiny things would just absolutely piss people off. And I love that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.